What's up? What's up? Yo, welcome to chapter three. Beautiful day today. The track is actually 100% dry, which is really cool. Let's get ready to roll. Let's warm up. Clear. I, I kind of feel my legs from yesterday. I mean, I'm not 20 years old anymore. I forgot my banana. Oh, we really needed that. getting warmed up uh, but uh, I actually don't feel really comfortable riding with a big camera like this with the red Komodo in my hands you could probably do it but uh, you know there's a chance I f it up and then I don't want to break the camera I just got it back <laughs> you know what? I didn't really plan to put any GoPro footage in this series I just wanted like better quality I guess There's a 90 there, 180, and the second 180. I'm doing something wrong because I get a lot of speed coming into this turn, but it, I think it really re requires that technique, you know, which makes me go faster in this huge turn so that I don't lose speed until there, you know? Because every time I come out of that turn, I'm kind of be like, eh. <laughs> That's what I'm working on right now. See what I mean? That wasn't bad. That was like maybe the best version I had so far. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
let me tell you about the board real quick. I'm gonna take a little break. <clears throat> this is the uh, Land Yachts Ripper. Mm. <clears throat> this is the uh, Land Yachts Ripper. I had a few boards from a while back from 2012 or something and I was experimenting with those boards. I also bought like a new deck and some trucks and uh, I was trying to put together something for for my own preference. I accidentally stumbled upon Land Yacht's uh, YouTube channel and I was looking at these funny uh, road trip videos. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I, that's how I discovered this board and uh, I really liked the shape. Love the concave shape of the board and the length. Yeah, I mean, I love the sizes of the cruisers, but from a riding point of view, just the size of this, it's 36 inches. You know, it's more of a long board. When you step on it, you're, you're stepping a little bit uphill the way it supports your foot, it's, it's, it's really comfortable. The ride feel, so when I first tried it, I was like, oh my God, amazing how this board feels. The carving, the turning, the trucks, the bear trucks, it's awesome. The hogs wheels were awesome too. When I look at the orange wheels, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. I think with the board having this color, the orange wheels just, for me, it's a no-go. You know, I found these uh, Synetic wheels in my local skate shop. It's kind of the same size. Hogs was 63, this is 64. Some ledges where you have, you don't have enough clearance as you see, but like 90%, it works totally fine and I don't mind the uh, scratches. Yeah, dude. It's amazing how I speak English and how I don't speak English at the same time, because Sometimes the expressions just want to come to me the Hungarian way and it is not the way you speak it in English. I have to spend more time in a natural environment. All right, let's rip it with the ripper. 